pain. Okay, cool. Oh. I'm starting dimension. Okay, I guess when I hear that, I'm gonna. Oh, there you go. I'm from Miami, Florida, and I make Spanish chat, reggaeton, and I also rap in English. I would describe my music as energetic, empowering, makes you feel good about yourself, makes you want to shake your ass. So Spanish, a lot of people don't know Spanish was actually my first language. I didn't really learn English until I was like three or four. But yeah, in 2016, uh, it actually just happened because I was playing around like on snapchat with like one of those like funny filters and i was like i mean like a cuban old lady or something and i was like soy buena y guapa pero no soy barata and then i was like wait this is like sounds so catchy i should make a song like that and then I was like, I should make a Spanish song. I actually was nervous. I thought I was gonna like lose a fan base, but it, the opposite happened. Like more people gravitated towards me from like overseas. And that's what the fuck you gotta do so I'm really glad that I started making Spanish music because I found like my own lane in it and like created like a whole new sound for myself. Reggaeton influences come from like growing up in the early 2000s. I used to listen to a lot of Daddy Yankee. Evie Queen especially is like my biggest idol when it comes to reggaeton. She's the queen of reggaeton. So nobody else could say that. People in Miami all know what a chonga is because everybody was a chonga. Chongalicious definition is like tight clothes, hoop earrings, the baby hairs. It's, a, it's more like of an attitude, you know? It's like a Latin girl, long nails, chancleta, those little Chinese slippers. It's kind of like cheap, cheap clothes but still looking glamorous. Salute. Salute. 